Today we will compare the most popular Korean spicy noodle, the Shin Ramen, versus its vegan cousin, the Sun Ramen. Although they say that the export version of the Shin Ramen isn't as spicy as the original Korean version, it's still the spicy noodle that comes out of Korea. Whereas the Sun Ramen is like the veggie noodle that is vegan certified, so we'll see how they do differ because Shin means spicy, Sun means mild. So we'll see how, do, how the tastes differ. And this is my thousands noodle, and this is Sam's first Korean noodle. So we'll see how our opinions differ as well. Let's get cooking! So there are many variations of how to make these Korean noodles, but we're gonna make it the way it says today. As a manufacturer, they've done the testing. So they probably know the best way of making it. I personally never made it this way, but we'll try it out and then see how it tastes. 500 ml of water, put that in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now heat them up. <laughs> oh, not that one. <laughs> heat them up. Okay. Cook. So cook for four to five minutes. And cook four to five minutes. Okay, same thing. Yeah, directions are really simple. You just cook. boil it, put the soup base and the vegetable mix in, cook for four to five minutes, stirring occasionally, and then remove from heat and serve. I think I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> Okay, water is boiling, so we're gonna put it in. Ooh. Okay, that's the Sun ramen there, and this is the Shin ramen here. They, they look the same. Yeah, even the vegetable one, I thought it'd be more green. And green. we're doing this at Sam's house right now, so I forgot my chopsticks and she doesn't have chopsticks obviously so we're gonna have to use these little guys these little guys to eat Shame. today so we're gonna stir them up now and probably eat them in like two minutes now because they're instant noodles so you're supposed to eat them right away ashamed stir them up see now it's boiling stir them up <laughs> this pot is way too wide for this So if I'm being honest, they look slightly overcooked. The soon does look a little bit mild compared to the Shin actually. So this is this is Shin here, this is Soon here. I'm gonna try the mild one first. And what? I'm gonna try the mild one. Yeah, try the mild one. I'll try the uh, spicy one first. <gasps> it looks good. I thought it was overcooked, but it looks good actually. I see. Yeah, I know. So just put a little bit there and then... Mmm, okay. this is a taste I remember. It does taste kind of spicy. Which one? The mild one? Mm. Like a little bit of a kick. It's like just heat at the back of your throat kind of feeling. This yet or no? Mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna try that. But I'm gonna change the soup. <clears throat> I need water. Do you want water? Mm, I'm okay for now. Are you sure? Yep. Oh, this already looks spicier. Like it looks spicier. Yeah, it is. Oh, I can't but even. I think it's more salty than anything. <laughs> It's a fork, Sam, not a chopstick. Not chopstick. <sighs> Can't use forks. Okay, you know what? If you want to go, okay. You really want to stay with me. See? Wait, I need the soup. I need the soup. Okay, okay now this is the soup. Yeah, 
Okay, it's a lot milder. It was really nice. It's a lot milder. We put the amount of water that they recommended, so... Like, it doesn't have the same kick to it as the shin does. Maybe because the water didn't boil out as much because we didn't use a wider pot. Because mm. we used a wider pot, the water boiled and the mm -hmm. soup really got into the noodles well. But even from just looking at it, it looks milder. Trust me. <laughs> Are you sweating? No. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating. We need some rice. Oh, it's definitely when you drink it. When you drink it? Yeah. You can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it? You can feel it? Mm. Huge difference. Oh, yeah. Huge difference there. Huge difference? Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm enjoying my food, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing like some good old noodles. I think I could eat more. I know I could. Maybe milder though this time. Huh? You want the mild one? You don't like Bro. the spicy one? No, it was just after drinking that. Soup. Like drinking that whole like bowl full, I was like, whoa. It's a little bit of heat. I'm not sweating though. You should have sat on this side. I should have sat on that side. Because you're left-handed, I'm right-handed. We're both like... <laughs> well, that makes for better content. We're struggling. Next time. <laughs> My arm is just like... <laughs> Clinking into yours. <coughs> yeah, so both are about like 500 calories each, and probably like two grams of salt, which is like almost your daily limit. So if you have one of these, it's more than enough. As as she's struggling there, <laughs> as you can tell. It's from... just my throat. It's burning. That's all. So I don't think it's something that you should have every day, even or some Koreans do, but that might be why we all have hypertension. Do you have hypertension? I don't. Okay. Done. Now, excuse me while I get a ton of water. Okay. So, what do we think? Those were both good. Both were good. Which one was more spicy? Well, definitely the shin. Yeah, right? It was definitely more spicy, the <laughs> shin. Soon was really mild, actually. Even when cooked like shin, I think it won't be as spicy. It definitely lives up to its name as mild. So, if you're someone who can't tolerate spicy food, that might be the one to first try. And... Work your way up? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And the shin, it, I don't know, I thought it was pretty spicy. They do say it's watered down compared to the Korean version. So when we go to Korea, we'll go try it out. We'll call it moderate spice. Yeah, it is moderate Definitely spice. Definitely not crazy crazy. Exactly. But so, yeah. moderate. Yeah, we'll go try it out when we go to Korea and then go from there. And next we'll try the uh, fire chicken. So we'll see Sounds how like that. like death. I'm sure that's... Intense spice. And also there was like nuclear fire chicken noodles, which is like supposed to be twice as spicy. I've only tried the fire chicken once and I died. So we look forward to it. We'll have to have a lot more water and milk on hand. That wasn't milk, that was water. <laughs> yeah, milk <laughs> on hand, just in case we die. But What about having ice cream on hand? Yeah, that helps too. Does it help? So yeah, we'll, we'll try the fire chicken next time and then let you know. And we'll also probably try making other versions of shin noodles, like different ways of making it. Like I've made meat noodles, the seafood noodles, see noodles with eggs. I'm sure you guys know all, all about it, but yeah, we'll try making different ones and then go from there.